Welcome to the Rogue Trading Communities video and this video is about the gap fill strategy on NFTs, futures and options. So this video is about how you can identify the possibility of a gap fill and how you can use that possibility to take a good trade out there. Okay. And this is not only about NFTs, futures and options. This happens usually in bank nifty. This happens in any financial instrument which has a gap up or a gap down because market always tries to fill its gap and hence we will use that momentum to execute our trades. Okay. Now let's get started. Let me let's jump into the trading view chart and let me explain how it works. Okay. Now, so now we are in our trading view terminal and uh, this is the Nifty's futures chart and the time frame is 15 minute time frame. And as you can see right here, Nifty today on 14th of February, 2024 market created a gap down and it rejected from the previous 15 minutes support uh, levels actually. So if you want it, what are the levels are? These were the levels actually. And I was observing in the markets because I had no intention to trade today. To be honest, I was out and I was literally observing this in my mobile phone. And since I was out and I was observing in my mobile phone, I had no intention to take a trade, but still there was a very good opportunity. There was a beautiful Wyckoff schematic on a lower time frame. I thought, why don't I at least take a trade? Because usually I take around uh, five to six lots, but today I had no option. I was like, okay, at least we will take a one lot trade. We'll have a very small stop loss and we'll, whatever the target is, no problem. We will just focus on the strategy. So I took a one lot trade actually right here and we made a profit of around 1,352 uh, rupees and so on. But that's not the point. The point is what was the setup and how do we, how did we take this opportunity of the gap fill to execute our trade? Okay. Now you, as you guys know about it, we had a gap down 15 minute time frame. It took a support from the 15 minute support right from this point and then market started reversing from this area. But if I look into a one minute time frame, right, literally it's a very micro time frame. If you go to the one minute time frame right here, just zoom in, right? So this was your opportunity right here. Market created a gap down market came down and then went up and started creating a sideways momentum at this section. That was the first thing you have to observe in this case. And the second thing right here, market was within the area of the high volume activity, right? This is the high volume activity and market was creating his absorption phase in this high volume activity. That was the second point. I had a confirmation that yes, there is a cause being built. If there is a cause in the upcoming time after one hour or after 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes depends upon it. Whenever we are having a breakout, definitely will have a good effect in the sense it will be trending actually. So that was the intention for me in terms of VSA. Now let's talk about Wyckoff. Wyckoff schematics. If you observe carefully, there is a one beautiful Wyckoff schematic right here, but if you're not able to recognize it at this particular point of time, don't worry because Wyckoff schematic needs a lot of practice and a lot of guidance. Most importantly, that's how you can learn about it. But yet I'm going to label it for you guys so that it will be simpler for you. Right now. Perfect. As you can see right here, this was a sideways momentum, right? This entire phase was a sideways momentum right here. And within that sideways momentum, we had this one simple uh, reaccumulation schematic right here. Okay. But what is the mechanism behind it? Very simple. Observe carefully. Market started with a gap down. Okay. Came to this area right here. Took its support from the 15 minute time frames, higher time frame uh, levels, and then started creating its semi reversal and complete reversal right here. That is point number one to be noted. Those who don't know what is semi reversal and complete reversal, like members, you guys already know about it in the upcoming days. I'll make a video on that. Okay. Now that was one thing. And second thing after creating a momentum market was inside the area right now, market was inside that high volume activity area. That was point number two right here. Market came back inside that high volume activity area and market started creating a sideways momentum right here. That is, that was the second phase of our analysis. And the third phase, what is the third phase here in this case? Well, if you observe carefully, after creating a sideways momentum, we clearly had that phase one, phase two, phase three in terms of Wyckoff schematics. And 
observe the volumes right here most importantly when market was sideways you can see volume was decreasing right here up to this point up to 2 12 15 and so on i was observing this volume was decreasing right here you see volumes right here it slowly started decreasing slowly right here right very simple and then later on market started breaking this level you see the volume started increasing right here this is a sign of initiative buyers who are entering the market right when you are using this particular you can use this knowledge on a break as a breakout strategy right here okay whenever you use this but not solely because i don't take a trade just because there is a volume divergence right here but there are other factors such as demand and supply divergence that we use right here and based on that we confirm our further opportunities okay but here this was a sign this breakout is valid because we had a clear volume divergence volume was drastically reducing up to this point and eventually more volume started increasing right here that was a sign for our buy trade that was the first part and the second thing if you observe the reaction after that that was a beautiful one because after creating an up move again market came back and exactly from our creek area right exactly from our creek area market bounced and started creating an up move and reached our target and what was our target at this section very simple this one up to this point because i had no intention to take a trade because market reached up to this point i don't have no intention to that i just wanted to capture this gap down whenever market is trying to gap fill at least it will come up to this point and then it if it has an intention to reverse it might i don't really care about that but my intention is very simple when market reaches up to this point where gap started this is where i'm going to book my profits very simple and that was our trade right and one really good a uh, trader who's recognizing the wyckoff schematic they could have easily executed trade at this section kept your stop loss at the 50% of that wyckoff schematic and kept your target exactly at this point this could have been a easily more than 1 is to 2 trade right here right you can see that it is 2.72 easy 1 is to 2 trade right here beautiful so this is what i was trying to explain see there are a lot of things i can include right here but i want to keep this video very short and simple so that you guys can get it out there because there are it takes hours for me to explain these things so that is the ultimate reason i'm going to going to keep it short okay so that was today's video hope you got an idea or confirmation or confidence that how wyckoff schematics can be effective in the markets and you can use that even in a 1 minute time frame for your intraday trading opportunities okay and the same concept can be used in swing trading as well as in the positional trading as well okay but in the upcoming days when i'm trading my own swing trading or positional trading positions in the if i get some of these opportunities i'm going to make a video on that and i'm going to upload that in the youtube okay so that's it for this video and see you in the next videos goodbye